hello lovelies welcome back to my channel so in today's video we'll be bringing you this zaria buhari hair tie hair wrap is mostly known by the um the northern part of nigeria i believe <laughs> and i hope you enjoyed this video it's a simple head wrap so without wasting so much time let's get into the video and thank you very much if this is your first time of stopping by to my old subscribers thank you for all your support so let's get into the video without wasting so much time okay for the first hair wrap we are going to be starting with this carton and this carton is just a normal carton that you can get from any carton um it's just about 10 inches or let's say round your um head circumference or you're going to be leaving some inches about four inches at the back it's not going to cover the whole of your neck of your head i hope you understand this so for the first style with the first thing i did is to wrap this carton all over my fabric and my fabric is about one one and a half yards so this wrapping one side of it is going to be short and the other one is going to be way longer it's more like dividing the fabric into three and then putting two two um two part of it to one side and then one part of the three to other side so i just flip it over to my head and then i'm going to wrap it out around if you want you can bring yours closer to your eyebrow or take it um further away from your eyebrow it depends on your preference so i'm going to go ahead and wrap this over my head remember it's not going to be flat you see the way i am tucking it in at that area that's how you're going to tuck yours in as well just make sure you arrange everything well and then we are going to i'm going to turn so that you guys can see what i am doing at the back though there's nothing serious going on there so i'm going to go ahead and tie this after i was done tying it i'm going to go ahead and then make another knot there to secure it to make sure that it doesn't unravel on my way out or anywhere and then i'll tuck one of the shorter one in making sure i have it in and secure and neatly tucked in and then every essence of the fabric i'm going to try as much as possible to tuck it in just like you can see me do please go ahead and do the same and for my hair you don't need to leave your hair um down you can as well pack your hair in a stylish form depending on your preference so the next thing I'm going to do is start, is to start folding the fabric. You're going to fold it to be the exact measurement with the cotton on the, in front of your of your head. If you don't use, want to use cotton, please make use of your wooden. Just make sure you have use something that is firm enough to stand. So once I was done um folding this, I just place it over the cotton. Just make sure it doesn't pass over um is no more than the length of the carton just like you see me show you guys make sure it's the same thing with the carton just wrap it over and then tuck it at the back and make sure you tuck everything in and that's all for the first tie i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you stylish enough you can just put your hair in a stylish form or leave it down then for the next style we are going to just like we did the first one we're going to use the cotton as well but for this we're going to make the fabric um divide it into two, two equal parts uh, fold it into two equal parts and then for the cotton you are going to make sure that you place the cotton at the center of the um of your scarf just make sure you place it on the center and then i'm going to go ahead and fold this because my fabric has pattern that's why i am trying to make sure that the, i have a nice um that it comes out nice that's all but if yours doesn't have pattern just go ahead and just place it at the center and then place it on your head just like you did at the um on the the first one um i just i'm good, just going to go ahead and tie this at my back and then for the front part you know the way we tucked it in at the upper side i'm going to go ahead and tuck this one in as well and make sure you arrange it well and then i'm going to go ahead and create a knot on this at first i mean, we just wanted to just tuck it in without um, any form of design there but as on the second thought i decided to create a bow for this at this point of creating this bow 
because i did not have any mirror at my back i couldn't see what i was doing but what i was just trying to do is to create a bow but you can just um fold it and tuck it in if you want i as of make when making this video i didn't know how what the bow looks like but i know that i have a mind of creating the bow which i don't know if I, what i end up doing after that but just make sure you have a nice tucked in um soba, scarf or soba, whatever you want or head wrap there you don't want to leave it there um hanging um on unorganized so this is it i'm going to try and as well arrange the front part making sure that everything is well arranged before yes having it all done and this is the second look i hope it's looking beautiful as well and then for the last one is um is is more like the first one but a little bit of twist on it for this just like we did the first one you're going to move the cotton to be at the two um that's dividing the fabric into two one two parts will be on one side and then one part will be on one side and then just like we did the first one i'm going to go ahead and tie it at my back just make sure you have uh, um you arrange your fabric well that's the your your scarf well that's the um one of the beauty of it if you don't arrange it well it's not going to come out nice just make sure you arrange it well by the time you are done it will look like a cap on your head so i just tied it at my back there's nothing serious that i just did there i just tied it at my at the back of my head and then the next thing i'm going to do is to make sure that the label of my fabric is tucked in well you don't want it to be showing and spoiling your scarf i just make sure i turn i tuck it well and then i'm going to make a twist there all the way from to the end and then when i am done i'm going to flip it over and place it around the carton make sure it's sitting on the carton um or more like at the center of the carton and then tuck it in at the back make sure you tuck your scarf in you don't want it to unravel on your way out or anywhere and that's basically all for the three three styles i hope you enjoyed this video and it's looking beautiful i hope you learned one or two if you haven't subscribed to my channel up to this moment please take one minute and subscribe give me a thumbs up and i'll see you at the in my next video thank you for watching bye